Deku is about to face the hardest challenge that I think he ever has in My Hero Academia. Ladies and gentlemen, the world is about to get completely bonkers and totally insane because apparently Netflix is at it again. That's right. Netflix is going to attempt to work on a live action adaptation of My Hero Academia. That's right. The same people that brought to you the fantastic, utterly flawless... I can't say that with the strength of Death Note and Cal... Uh, oh my gosh, and Cowboy Bebop. Um, and I, I kind of dipped out on those because I was like, oh, those might be interesting. Cause And then people were like, no, nah, don't do it, bro. I'm like, what do you mean don't do it? And they're like, don't do it, bro. So I didn't do it. But ladies and gentlemen, let's get into this story here. And just so everybody knows, I'm actually new to My Hero Academia. I have been checking out more anime lately and based off of recommendations that people here on the channel have been giving me, I've been checking out some shows. And I actually went and checked out My Hero Academia and turns out I really like it. I think it's actually a really, really baller show. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, The Hollywood Reporter Netflix boards My Hero Academia live action movie from legendary all right netflix has nabbed the live action film adaptation of the manga sensation my hero academia from legendary entertainment best known for its monster vs tent poles uh joby harold is penning the screenplay for this live action uh feature which will be directed and executive produced by shinsuke soto's english language uh uh debut uh English language debut, and we'll see the popular manga property jump to the live action movie realm. Harold's credit uh, included Obi Wan Kenobi and Army of the Dead. Oh boy! Oh, that's that's uh huh. Oh, so we're already off to a good start. I was gonna say, you know, there might be a uh, mm hmm. Oh, don't you just love all these advertisements because I don't pay for this service at all? Anyway, on Netflix, <clears throat> earlier back to an adaptation of the Japanese mega Death Note. Uh, yes, and most people hated that one. They could not stand it. They also ended up, uh, people were not really fans of, and it didn't get the viewership. So, like, Cowboy Bebop was literally canceled, like, two weeks or three weeks after it was released. Um, <clears throat> yes. My Hero Academia is a manga that has become a sensation worldwide, having debuted in 2014, now gained attention in North America in the North American market. It quickly became an anime series, now in its sixth season. Yes, and it is very good. I actually really, really, I am very much enjoying it, especially with Endeavor, and uh, I think his character arc is uh, pretty decent. They're legendary. Uh, brought the rights to a live-action adaptation of My Hero Academia in October 2018. The adaptation <clears throat> will be produced by legendary, uh, oh, <clears throat> by legendaries uh, Mary Parent and Alex Garcia, and takes place in a world where 80% of people have developed powers called a quirk. Uh, yes, we already know that. For superhero fanboy uh, Izuku Midoriya, aka Deku, being born without a quirk makes him almost uh, give up his dream. Yes, that's fine. We already know the backstory of it because we're all fans here, and that's. Is that it? There's no word on casting for the live action, for the live adaptation, uh, which may attract a host of Japanese American actors. Uh, Tohoko LTD will distribute the film theatrically in Japan. Oh boy. <clears throat> the guy who wrote Kenobi. Obi-Wan Kenobi and Army of the Dead. Well, if that doesn't sound like a recipe for disaster, then I don't know what does. Ladies and gentlemen, they are at it again. Why does Netflix keep doing this to all of these series? I just don't understand. They take her and, and, and here's the problem is anime already or especially when you get into manga, right? Manga has already been well translated into <clears throat> the film world through animation because it turns out that manga and animation kind of like comic books and animation can coexist really really well and you can tell those stories uh mostly true to the original source material and there are animes out there that obviously take their liberties especially once you start getting into uh, uh the english dubs and all that no i'm not one of those guys that says no you can only watch the japanese subtitle and i, I no, i watch the dubs and then I go, okay, I wonder if I'm accurate. And then you literally can go on YouTube and you go, 
and you type in what's the difference between the English dub and the Japanese sub of this anime and then there's like 50,000 videos of all of them it's great and then you just you know you educate yourself like that so but especially with the lost in translations there um some people would say that the animes aren't as good as the manga well I mean that tends to be fairly true anytime you take a book and convert it into a movie usually the source material is better than the actual adaptation itself but then we go to another level here which is what I <laughs> which is what is now known as the Netflix adaptation. Ladies and gentlemen, the Netflix adaptation, or when people start saying, man, they're going to Netflix this so bad, that is going to be code in the future for people absolutely eviscerating the source material in a live action adaptation. And we're, and we're witnessing it now. I hope that becomes a verb that people use it like man i just can't watch another thing that i love get netflix i just can't do it it's not good because we're seeing it so often and ladies and gentlemen it's completely mystifying to me that with the utter flops that they've had with so many of these animes why netflix keeps doing it and we know from the, a lot of the behind the scenes stuff <clears throat> when it comes to what Netflix is going through and how they're really not doing so big in the britches when it comes to the dollars, uh, a fantastic channel to check out if you guys haven't, who covers a lot of this stuff is Clownfish TV. They go into the business end of a lot of these uh, animation studios or just movie studios, uh, comic studios, things like that. They actually have, uh, they've worked uh, in the industry, in and around the industry for a long time, and they uh, do a pretty good breakdown. But if you've ever listened to any of Clownfish TV's um, coverage of a lot of the news that's happening behind the scenes at Netflix are starting to realize they don't know what they're doing. They hired too many people and gave the keys to the castle to too many people. And so all these people are like, oh no, we've got a great idea. Let's do it. And they, and so many people will just green light projects that to be honest, coming from the top, they go, uh oh, no, we would not have green lit this. Who in the world green lit this? And that's the problem right now we have an yet another team at netflix green lighting a project and giving it over to somebody who the army of the dead movie was kind of mocked if it's the army of the dead that i'm thinking of which i'm pretty sure it's the movie that i'm thinking of i should probably double check to make sure that it is in fact the movie that i'm thinking of because well it's 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 gonna it, it's gonna yeah yep yep that's the movie i was thinking of and so Netflix, yet again, is gearing up to not only destroy Gears of War, which I covered previously, but they're also gearing up to make sure that Deku no longer lives up to the name that he has. And his name is not Deku, his name is Hero, right? Okay, do you get what I did there? Do you get what I did there? Am I going to go, his name is actually, it's, you know, Izuku Midoriya. Yes, I'm aware. I was trying to say that the kid possesses heroic qualities and constantly exudes heroic qualities and honestly netflix doesn't seem to have the teams anymore to understand what heroic qualities are so ladies and gentlemen what do you think about my hero academia getting a live action adaptation of my hero academia i'm gonna continue to watch the anime I'm bowing out of this one. Not going to watch it. I I just, I mean, maybe if people come out and say, man, this is the hottest thing since sliced bread. And you've got, if you don't watch this thing, maybe I'll check it out then. But barring some absolutely fantastic reviews of this show, I don't have a lot of hope for it. And why do you think, let me know in the comments below. Why do you think Netflix flop after flop when it comes to their adaptation? Why do you think that they keep going for this and try? It's like they keep trying the same thing and they keep failing. It's almost like the colloquial definition of insanity. Because that's not the real definition of insanity. It's the colloquial definition of insanity. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out this video. I absolutely appreciate all of you here. And if you guys love what I said or hated what I said, don't forget to comment down below and let me know your thoughts on my thoughts. And we can have a conversation down there. And never forget, I dedicate a special live stream to all of you. 
every single week on Sundays at 11 a.m. called Sunday Coffee, where I read all of your comments that you have on all of the videos that I do throughout the week. And also join me for Iron Age Nights, where we're bringing on new authors, um, movie producers so far. And uh, uh, I think we're going to start having some more interesting guests as well at 8 p.m. Central on Friday nights right here on A Drink With Crazy. And one more plug, because I have to. I have a gaming channel. It's called ADWC Gaming. You should go there. I'm going to live stream twice a week, Monday nights and Wednesday nights. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out this video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe on your way out. And I will see you all next time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.